Hey what's up David here with After Effects and welcome back to the channel. And to celebrate the last tutorial for the year we're going to be creating fireworks. So yeah without further ado let's take a look at what we're going to be creating. Alright so I hope you enjoy that. So we've got a lot of fireworks going on here, and it's just all offset it um, duplicates of the fireworks and it's just in different colors that's all so let's just make a new comp and we'll call this fireworks full HD make a 10 seconds long hit okay let's just grab a solid and call this background hit okay and let's just grab another solid and we'll call this fireworks hit okay Let's grab particular, and you can see we've got particles emitting. And if we scroll down to the emitter and make this zero, be sure your timeline's at the beginning. Hit the stopwatch, move forward maybe about four frames, and make this about. 2000 and maybe another four frames and then just set this back down to zero and we'll just change the velocity to about um, maybe 600 so now if we look at this we just got a short burst of particles okay and let's just scroll down here to the particle settings maybe make this live about 1.8 and maybe size maybe four and we come to the set color and change this to over life come down to color over life make it a, a gray ramp and just slide this over let's make this about like an orange color and we'll make this like a shade of blue. We'll just grab another one. And we'll make this a bit lighter. So take a look at this. We got like this nice shade. And we might just slide this over a bit. And to make this a little lighter. Yeah, that looks better. And let's come to the physics. Let's turn on gravity to about 100. And air, air resistance to 1. So let's look at this. It's just a nice burst of particles. And then they just start to disappear. Okay, and let's go to the auxiliary channel. Turn this to continuous and let's turn up the particles per second to about 250 and change the velocity to about 30. Let's go in here and just change the size to about 1. And so you can see here what we're trying to do here. Maybe we'll change this to 20. And we'll turn the color from main to 100%. So now if we look at this, it's a nice burst of particles happening. Cool. Maybe we'll turn up the color random a bit. Maybe not too much. Maybe about 10%. And that's our fireworks. And we even just adjust some of these settings. Maybe we make this 1.7. Maybe we can make the size a little bit smaller. Um, we'll make the size over over life. Maybe about this gradient. So 
starts off big and then it gets smaller over time. Same goes for the opacity as well. Um, like this, like that. And for the size, right, maybe we could just like bring this up. Like that. Just tweak this a little bit. And maybe make the velocity to about 25. Cool. So that looks awesome. And we can even duplicate this. And we'll call this smoke. And what we can do is go into our particle and just turn this to zero because we only want to focus on the auxiliary and let's go to make this to at start and just change this to like gray color and maybe we can turn up the size for these Particles. And then turn off color for random. To zero. And turn the opacity down all the way to like 0.3. So you could barely see them. And we might just Turn up the size even more to maybe like 25. And now if we composite those two, we get some smoke elements happening. You can barely see it, but it's subtle enough to create realism. Alright, so let's just do a quick preview for this. Okay, let's look at this. So you can see at the beginning, we've got this large smoke in the center. And what we can do for that is we can change the opacity and the size over life. So maybe for the size over life, we can change this to that so that it starts off small and then just gets larger and for this opacity over life let's look at this we might even just flip that as well and we might even just change the size for these to back down to like 20 it was pretty big Okay, so let's just take a quick preview for this. All right, let's check it out. Nice, okay. So just one final touch for the smoke. I changed the opacity life from, and I flipped the graph. So it's now a linear or negative gradient graph. Okay, so let's go ahead and create two adjustments. Let's control Y, control Y. And we'll call this, Exposure and we'll call this uh, glow. Now let's get the unsharp mask, just that brighten it up a little bit, and let's grab the exposure effect and maybe just crank that up a bit, give it a little bit of more highlights, a point three five. And let's grab the curves adjustment and just give this a little bit of a contrast look. Like that. Okay. And for our glow, we're going to grab three glows. So drop this down to maybe like point two or something. And I'll make this about 20. 
We'll adjust the threshold later, but for now I just want to get these glow highlights happening. Control T, one more. And we'll make this about 100. And grab the exposure effect. Just maybe make that one. Like that. Now for our threshold, we want it to start from being really high to, and then slowly uh, getting lower. So we're going to set a keyframe for each of these glow effects. And we're going to just move it here. And then over time, it will uh, decrease. So maybe about 20, and then over here we'll crank this up to maybe like around in the 80 zone, like that. Okay, so we got nice glow happening here. Now we're going to duplicate our fire and smoke, and then what we can do is just shut this off for now and we can change the color of our fireworks so maybe we can like change the color random or oh, no, so color, color over life so maybe more of, we can change this to like a more of a red color and then this turns into like a bit of a green over life and we'll just set this to like white. So we can see the transition for the color. Maybe we could do a bit more adjustment on this. So maybe we can push this together. kind of overlaps with each other. Turn this to white. Something like that. Maybe add a bit of tint of red. Okay, cool. And then we can pre compose these two and call this orange. And then we can pre compose these, or duplicate it, sorry. And put it on top here. And then we can just pre compose these and we call this. Uh, red and for this one we can change the color so maybe we can change this to more of a uh, pink color and change this to like a more bluish color so we take a look at this We can see here it's changing color. Like that. And we can just like offset these a little bit. And we'll just pre compose this, these two. And we'll call this uh, purple. And we'll move this across as well. And we can just, one final touch, we can just move these around. So maybe for this one, we can like move it over here. And for our purple, we can move it like just underneath something. 
somewhere around here and the orange can be offset here okay let's check this out nice okay so obviously you can't overlay it like that but uh, you can adjust the scale so maybe this one maybe a little smaller and maybe the purple can be a little bit small and maybe I'll position it even further down like here like that okay uh, and that's it guys so you can just do your own uh, maybe your own adjustments and feel free to just to play around with the color and the scale and the timing as well and uh, yeah it's just a lot of fun just just trying out on um, different things um, guys I want to thank you so much for this year because this year my uh, channel has spiked from like over 400 subscribers and over like 500 hours of watch time so I really appreciate all the support um hopefully um I'll get more support next year but I just want to thank you so much for this year um I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and as usual my name's David I hope you learned interesting techniques that you can use for your own creations please give a like if you like this video so people can find it Subscribe if you want to see more and be sure to hit that bell button to get the notifications and comment down below if you have any questions and I will see you in 2021